I was supposed to be here 24 hours ago, but I couldn't because my colleagues on the political desk were getting you ready for the NDC manifesto and all that it entailed. Thankfully for the sports team, we had a uh, flag bearer for the NDC, John Mahama, make a couple of promises about what he would do if he's brought back to the Jubilee House. Let's quickly see the highlights of those and then go and get some analysis on that one. So the, the big man said that he's gonna, his government is going to set up one sports center of excellence, each in the south, the middle belt, and the north. Also mentioned key among them to upgrade the Winneba Sports College into a sports university with campuses in selected regions and said that he will continue and finish the new Edubiasi Stadium, which his government started uh, prior to leaving office. So these three things are, are some of the things we'll be looking at. He also said that they will build sports recreational facilities in communities in every district and also that they will use the sports development fund to assist the sports associations, pay salaries and improve welfare of local sports persons. And he also said that they will, uh, no, definitely not. So uh, that is what John Mahama, who is going to ask for your vote and my vote in the elections on December 7th, said his government would do. So we'll do a couple of um, questions for our guest, if he's ready, Honorable Ni Lante Vanderpoy, former youth and sports minister as well, um, to get his thoughts on that. However, let me run you through a couple of things that uh, John Mahama said as well. Remember that particularly for this last one, um, people have said that it may be a repetition of what we are seeing under this current government to use the sports development fund to assist sports associations, pay the salaries and improve the welfare of local sports persons. As you may know, during this COVID era, we've had the YEA, uh, YEA currently do a similar, have a similar project where they are paying 500 Ghana cities as well. Let's listen to John Mahama speak on some of these manifesto issues. We'll establish a sports development fund and um, we'll develop a comprehensive national sports policy to outline the vision and strategies for sports development in Ghana. We'll revive and invest in inter-school and colleges games in order to develop talent. For companies that invest in sports, we will facilitate tax exemption and tax relief regimes to motivate private sponsorship and promotion of sports. We will promote and provide funding for the lesser known indigenous sports. We will ensure the successful hosting and organization of the 13th Africa Games to be hosted in Ghana in September 2023. We will continue and complete the new Edubiasi Sports Stadium and we will establish sports stadia and other recreational facilities in communities and in all the districts. Now this is an interesting one. We'll use the Sports Development Fund to assist the sports associations to provide an improved remuneration and welfare of local sportsmen and women. This fund will also be utilized to assist teams for teams that qualify for comp uh, continental competitions. This fund will assist them to be able to uh, go and participate in the competition. So that's John Mahama giving us an idea of what he would do if you give him your vote. Uh, we'll be getting Honorable Neil and Tim Van der Poy right now, a couple of challenges, so we couldn't do that. But there are a lot of comments on our Facebook especially, so please head over to the Joy Sports or the Joy News Facebook pages and join in the conversation. We can keep it going until Election Day. Gary Al Smith, and that's the sport for the moment.